Good morning. I hope everybody's having a good morning. I'm having a good morning. It's beautiful out here. A little cloudy today, but you know what? That's okay. I got a little test set up for F 75 I had a couple guys ask me how that thing does in iron. Well, this is the 5-inch coil. I'm going to try it first, and then I'm going to put the bigger coil on it and just see. And That's got to be the one of the... That's a really big... That's a really big hand cut square nail. So let's see what it does on it. I got it in fast mode. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. I got it in two L tones. Just got the iron where it doesn't report as loudly. Let's listen to that. Now let me move the move the dime out of the way nothing so it's definitely not vaulting on that big old piece of iron so let's put the dime back in there Rooster's telling the news, ain't he? I'm gonna say that's fabulous. All right, give me a minute. Let me put the 11 inch coil on. We'll look at it. Before I change these coils out, I wanted to uh, run over this eight and a half inch dime I got in my test garden just to show you that even in fast uh, with the sensitivity. On 79, I never run above the 70s when I'm running this small coil. I found that uh, it just seems to do better with less sensitivity. That's eight and a half inch dime. That's about max depth on this little bitty coil in my soil. The ground is really mild in this part of my yard, so. Results may vary in bad dirt. Here's a seven inch quarter. Just like smacking that. Uh, this is a little tougher target, especially in this fast. Uh, there's iron all over here. But right in here is a tiny low conducting foreign coin. I don't even know what country it's from, but or how I ended up with it, but I did bury it. There it is. And it still hits that fine while at the same time I'm raised up about six inches right there before I lose that dime. Anyway, let me throw this uh, other coil on. Okay, I gotta say, I really wasn't expecting this. Same setup, same sensitivity, everything's the same except for the big old coil. That's a big old nail. Of course it's going to get it like that. All of them will, but uh... At a swing speed. Slower swing speed, not super fast. Super fast, it's gone. 
I don't know. I'm getting a peep there once in a while. Tip of the coil. This coil seems most sensitive right in, just in front of that red dot I got on there and, and that cube right there, it really, which I'm sure, the elliptical coil for this thing would do even better than that. But that's impressive for a large coil for me. Um, to me on this down the barrel. I don't know, I just, I think that's awesome for a big coil. With, with an iron nail, you know, that's probably a five, Probably a five inch iron nail and piece of silver there. Let's test it out here on this big end where the where the head's at just to see if it'll catch it off the end as well. Colvern. <laughs> you act like you're cold. It ain't that cold out here, buddy. Let's try it off this other tip. That's a pretty good sized piece of iron. Anyway, just fooling around with these things this morning, guys. Thought I'd throw that on video. Somebody might get some good out of it.